It's been 30 years since a woman was murdered in Wayne County and no one has been convicted in the case. Newswatch 16's Courtney Harrison spoke with people who have followed the case since the beginning. She joins us live with where the case stands today. Stacy, for many people in Wayne County, Laura Ronning's murder feels like it was yesterday, but 30 years have passed along with some who were involved in the case and with no resolution, who killed Laura is still a big question. July 27th is a difficult day for many people in Wayne County. 30 years ago, 24 year old Laura Ronning, a camp counselor at Camp Cayuga near Honesdale, went for a hike to Tanner's Falls to spend her day off in the sun at the falls. According to investigators, less than an hour later, Laura was dead. Laura's body was found down an embankment. She had been sexually assaulted and shot in the head. In 2009, Jeffrey Plishka was arrested for the murder of Laura Ronning. Investigators say he put himself in the area at the time Laura was last seen. In August of 2010, Plishka was tried and acquitted for the murder. Mark Zimmer was the assistant district attorney in Wayne County in 1991. He recalls the day that Laura's body was found like it was yesterday. It was a horrible scene. Um, that's what sticks in my mind. The scene was absolutely horrible. And, um, and the mystery was evident from day one. That just doesn't happen here. In Wayne. I mean, this is such a peaceful, idyllic spot. And to think right here, the horror that happened 30 years ago, almost to the hour, that's heartbreaking. Kevin Edwards is a reporter for the Tri-County Independent newspaper in Wayne County. Kevin has spent his entire career following the case, and every year he retells the story of Laura's murder, hoping to drum up information that can provide any answers. Arguably, time has run out on this case, and it's just, it breaks my heart. The most lasting thing is, is the frustration that I've had ever since that day. Unfortunately, Laura's mother, Pat Gicking, has since passed, not knowing who killed her daughter. But her words from 1992 still holds weight for those people who hope this case can be solved. I was not going to allow anyone to forget that Laura lived and she died in this place. And the person that did it has to be caught. Investigators officially call this a closed case, but there's still a chance that someone may know something after all these years. If anything, Mark and Kevin agree that they hope the family gets the answers they deserve after all this time. Stacey.